Today we're going to be telling you the truth about EQ setting circles and why if they're too small they just won't work for you guys. So to understand it you have to understand that you know if, if you ever look up a coordinate on the internet for a let's say we got a theoretical star you have to know that right ascension this knob right here this is measures time so right ascension think of a clock you know it measures time it goes in hours minutes and seconds so if you ever look up coordinates for a star that's what you're gonna get for the right ascension input you're gonna get minutes well it starts on hours and it goes minutes and seconds so there's basically three things you gotta know and with these small circles you can't small setting circles there's no there's no marks per second you see that it's just physically they can't there's not enough space for them to get the marks in that they need for these things to be precise so like they sell it to you like you're gonna be able to just put the coordinates in and just look in your eyepiece and there's the star you're looking for these tiny they don't work like that because there's no, on this right ascension knob, there's no, there's no second in there. So you're basically guessing. Same thing with the, up here's your declination knob. See that it, just think, you know, declination, December, degrees. Declination always, it, it, it measures degrees, inches and feet. So when you look up a coordinate for a star, you're going to get the degree, the inches, and the feet. And the problem with these small circles is they don't show you, it's not precise enough to show you the fine, you know, you get down to your inches and feet, there's no way to discern, you know, so in order to fix that, you have to either get a bigger, get a bigger EQ mount where your circles are big enough to where they can show you those small, precise, you know, measurements. Like if you can't use your EQ setting circles, that's fine because there's an easier way to do things. I found is, you know, you get your phone you go download Starwalk or Stellarium and you get yourself a pair of binoculars and you just use Stellarium, use Starwalk, whatever you need, some sort of star mapping. It will show you in real time where the stars are basically. What you do is you, you find it on your phone and you use binoculars to point up and actually find what you're looking for before you even you know, try to get it in your spotting scope. So there you go guys, that's why, I hope this explains why it, these small setting circles just don't work. And if you buy a telescope thinking that they're gonna work, you're just gonna find out, you know, it's, it sucks. You spend days and days trying to figure out, you know, right ascension, declination, you do all that, and they still don't work. And it's just because it's a scaling issue. It's like trying to measure off a half inch when your ruler only shows you inches, you know. You're just guessing, basically. So that's why these things don't work. I mean, you get them close, but like I told you guys earlier, it's better just to get on your phone, find, find the stars, you know, by pointing at them with your cell phone. Look at them with your, you know, your binoculars. Make sure it's all good. And then get your telescope. Just use your spotting scope to get it, you know. So there you go. The truth about setting circles. And that's the truth. If they're not big enough, they're just not going to work. If you guys found that useful, you know, go ahead and boop that like button. You know, boop the subscribe. Let's YouTube know that, you know, this video is good.